those of you using Unreal Engine 5 have probably run into this problem right here, where the shadows on the meshes are just really bad. We've got these gnarly black shadow splotches all over our models. Fortunately, we have three very easy solutions to fix this problem. Now, before I go any further, this is not a bug, and it's the way that Nanite works with Ray Trace Shadows. So the first solution is the quickest and easiest. We're going to select our directional light, or whatever light you have that is lighting your scene, and in the Search Details panel, we're going to search for Ray. And you'll see here you probably have Cast Ray Traced Shadows set to Enabled. This is likely enabled if you migrated a project from Early Access or UE4 into 5.0. And we're going to set this to either Disabled or Use Project Settings. And just like that, our shadows have now been fixed. I can now rotate my sun and you'll see we no longer have those nasty black shadows. Now, some of you might actually want to be using Ray Trace Shadows because as you'll see right here, just a bit of comparison, Ray Trace Shadows, as you can see in this example right here, are vastly superior to the virtual shadow maps that Lumen uses by default. And again, taking a look at this example, if you need soft shadows, you really should be using Ray Trace Shadows. They are going to be much better, much softer. Virtual shadow maps work great when they are pretty sharp, but for any kind of diffused lighting, sometimes it starts to fall apart. So if you do need to have Ray Trace Shadows in your lights, there are still two other solutions to this problem. So we're going to go to the console command menu, and we're going to use the console command r.raytracing.shadows enable two-sided geometry and we're going to set this to zero. And I'm going to explain why that is soon. By default, this is set to one. And by setting it to zero, this solves our issue. This way, we can preserve our ray trace shadows and get rid of those nasty splotches. But there's a caveat here. If you have a bunch of meshes in your scene that are one-sided, like this plain example right here, you'll see this is a one-sided piece of geo, right? And you'll see it is not casting shadows anymore. If I set the enable two-sided geometry variable back to one, you'll see it is now casting shadows correctly the way you would expect. I'm gonna set this back to zero because that's our solution right now. You'll see it stops casting shadows, but you'll see if I flip it around, then it casts shadows as intended. And the reason for that is very simple. When you're using Nanite, Ray traced shadows do not trace against the actual nanite geo. Ray traced shadows trace against what we call the nanite fallback mesh, previously known as the nanite proxy mesh. And I'm going to show you an example of how the fallback mesh works after this third solution. So setting the console variable back to one, which it is by default. Now we have the shadows cast by our one-sided geometry correctly. The last solution to our problem is to select your nanite mesh in question. We're going to open up the static mesh editor and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click the show button and we're going to show the nanite fallback mesh and you'll see it is ever so slightly different. You'll see it's a little bit more polygonal. If I show this is the nanite mesh and this is the fallback mesh and you'll see because it's not quite the same shape, that is what is giving us these nasty shadows. The fallback mesh is casting these shadows because the shape is not exactly the same. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the fallback relative error in the nanite settings of the static mesh editor, and we're going to set this to zero. And we're going to hit apply changes. Now this can take a while. This also will have a performance impact on your scene. Just be careful. So I'm just going to fast forward here real quick. And now you'll see this is our fallback mesh and this is the nanite mesh. It's virtually the same. And as a result, our issues have largely been fixed. It's not perfect. As I back up, you'll see we do have a few issues right around here, but it's a whole lot better than it was previously. And I think it's very mesh dependent. Some meshes have been totally fine when I use this solution and some meshes have not. So go ahead and try that. If you need to have two-sided shadows and you want to keep ray traced shadows on, this is a decent solution that can get you out of a bind. So again, if I check this mesh here, we have these nasty big black splotches on the mesh. I'm going to open up the static mesh editor. I'm going to hit the fallback relative error down to zero and hit apply changes. 
once the changes are done, save your model. You'll see that these black nasty shadows are more or less gone and behaving as expected. So like I said, it's not the perfect solution, but it can help you out sometimes. So to recap, the first solution is to disable ray trace shadows on your light. The second solution is to set this console variable right here to zero. I will put the console variable down below. And lastly, the third solution is to set the fallback relative error to zero and hit apply in the static mesh editor of your nanite mesh. So the reason why this is happening is because of what I said earlier. Ray traced shadows are traced against the nanite fallback mesh, not the nanite mesh itself, because it is way less performance intensive to trace against fewer polygons than it is to trace against a very dense model. From what I can see, the fallback mesh is really just an LOD of sorts, a lower res model of the nanite mesh that actually seems to have its mesh normals inverted. As you can see here, just for demonstration purposes, this would be the inverted mesh, the fallback mesh that has its mesh normals inverted. And because it's slightly lower res, the polygons don't quite face the same way. And as a result, it's casting shadows on our nanite mesh, so to speak. So the fallback mesh seems to have flipped or inverted mesh normals, which would explain why disabling the two-sided shadows console variable fixes the shadow issue on our nanite meshes. So I hope this sheds a bit of light, no pun intended, on some of the issues you may be having. And again, the wonky shadows issue is not a bug. That is basically by design. That's just how nanite works with ray traced shadows. So it's important to be aware of. So each one of these solutions has its own pros and cons. You're going to have to be the one to choose which one works best for you. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, do consider subscribing and hitting the bell so you know when more videos like this are available. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.